In this video, I'll show you two ways that you can pair your Logitech M350 Pebble mouse to your Mac computer. It can be a MacBook, a MacBook uh, Pro, a Mac Mini, whatever Mac you have. So there's two ways. I'll show you the first one. Let's start with the easiest. So the easiest one is to connect it by Bluetooth. And for this to happen, you'll need to go into your Bluetooth settings on your Mac. To do so, you'll need to go over here on the top part, top right corner of your Mac. You're going to press this uh, small icon here. You'll have Bluetooth here. Make sure it's turned on. If not, you just have to click once and uh, the logo here will turn blue, which means it turned on. Then click on Bluetooth. And then Bluetooth preference. Once you're here, all you have to do is to take your Pebble mouse, make sure that it's turned on by sliding the small slider here. You're going to press this uh, button here on the right side during just two, three seconds until it's flickering. You see the small light here? It's flickering. You're going to set this aside. And here in the Bluetooth devices, Logitech Pebble should appear in the list. And you're going to click the connect button. Okay, it will just take a few seconds and you're going to see the Logitech Pebble going over here under devices and it will say connected. Congratulations. Now you can use the Pebble mouse just the same way that you're using a uh, any regular mouse. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. You're done. So now let's see the second option in case you don't want you to use the Bluetooth of your Mac. So to demonstrate that this is working, I will just go over here again and just turn off the Bluetooth. OK, now you're going to take your Pebble mouse. And we're going to remove the top lid of the mouse. It's held by magnets. It's very easy. Just take your finger here, your nail and put it anywhere around the edge and simply pull it slightly. It doesn't need much effort. I'll show it again like this. Here we go. You're going to take this small dongle here, the USB dongle. You're going to pull it out from the mouse. Put back the lid. OK, set this aside. And obviously many of the newer Macs like this MacBook Air doesn't have a USB type A kind of a port. So what you'll need, you'll need an adapter. And these are very cheap nowadays. Uh, you can get it for, I don't remember how much. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one from Amazon. All you have to do is to connect it like this and then this part to the USB type C port here on the side of the laptop or your computer. Like this. We're not done yet. I'll show you the last thing you need to do. Take your pebble mouse and on the back here, you're going to tap on this button once. OK, until the light here is solid, it doesn't flicker anymore. This means that the USB dongle is ready to be used. And here we go. The mouse is working. I can do whatever I want with it. So this is it. These were the two methods that you can connect your Logitech Pebble M350 to your Mac computer. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.